mention the different um, way both you and Faith came up. Um, could you expound on both for people dating and people married, your circumstance that you were raised in, what you've seen, and breaking cycles? Um, I think one of the things that Faith had expressed to me is that her father was never really in her life like that. And then when he was, he would say that he would be in a place and then he wouldn't be there. So he, that's what really drove Faith to be the turtle that she is now and structured because if she can control her environment, then it would put her in a place where she feels safe. However, there's still an issue to that. Her father's gonna be the first dude that she ever had a relationship with. And so before any, we moved forward, I wanted her to experience some level of closure. So what we did was we took a trip to the Bronx to go see her father when he finally like and he really came back in at some level of her life and then like for real I would listen to her aunt sometimes and say he doesn't deserve to be in her life are you kidding me it was him not being in her life that allowed her to be the structured person that she is and which is a blessing to me being a flamingo so whether we you know want to look at that as a plus or a minus he still gave her life and he still made her into the person that she was. So I took her to the Bronx and we been, had some conversations with him and you even got him back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he going to mess up the whole story. <laughs> Love you, boo. Uh, yeah, so we went to the Bronx and um, I had to have a conversation with my father that I really, at the, did not want to have, but knew that it was essential for our relationship um, to, to fix what was going on and the unfair expectations that I was putting on him because I did not receive them from my father. I knew that I had to have a conversation with my, my, my father and eventually forgive him. Um, I was it's like, I, the only analogy that I can make is I, I'm a 10 gallon person and my father was a 5 gallon person. He could never fill the 10 gallons, right? He just didn't have it. He wasn't raised that way. So he was lacking in something that he could never give me that I, that I was expecting him to. And so I had to learn to let go and forgive him because he was brought up in a certain way and had things not given to him. And so I had to say, I'm going to break this cycle. And that was the starting point where I said, I forgive you for not being in my life. I forgive you for the things you could not give me. Not that you did not want to, but that you just couldn't because you didn't have it yourself to give. Amen. Once that happened, then he and I were able to work through some of the issues that we were experiencing and I was able to let go of some of the expectations that I was putting on him that he was not there was a lot for. of them too <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so I mean it's it's breaking those cycles of how you were raised and and, and I and I saw the little things that I was doing in the relationship in the beginning where I knew that I was only doing them because I had experienced that with my father. And so things that I would expect him to do, I would say, well, I never got that from, from my father, so now I'm putting that on you, and that's unfair to him. So that basic, basically just breaking those cycles of how you grew up, how you were taught, we had to literally unlearn and then relearn. Right. and not do it the way that our parents taught us or the what we saw through our parents or their parents or our grandparents and I watched my grandfather and my grandmother you know he, he was an alcoholic she was you know just very passive aggressive so you see all these things growing up and you you know you try not to repeat them but in some way they show up later on in some form they do show up and so you have to be very very you know cognizant of those things and not repeating that so like i said we had to unlearn 
and just relearn how to do it our way, not our parents' way, but our way. Amen.